Well, I think the contagion is still relatively limited. You know, the, the issue with Turkey is it really has no friends. It's not really a friend of Europe, certainly not anymore, clearly not a friend of the US. Um, it may well have some fair weather friends in terms of Russia, but I, I, I think uh, they will be quite dangerous friends to have, although it could be that Erdogan will go in that direction. Um, Turkey has some serious inbuilt problems. It has nearly half a trillion dollars worth of foreign debt. Um, and that debt is reasonably well spread among Western nations. Spain is, uh, is the most exposed. Um, uh, and there is going to be a real problem with the debt because you cannot have your currency fall by half within a year and yet not have problems with your foreign currency debt. Um, so I think that's really a big issue for Turkey. But with no real friends uh, and with no real major contacts uh, elsewhere, it's slightly difficult to see how contagion is going to happen uh, unless we see some kind of generalized um, uh, issues uh, happening in the rest of the emerging markets. And Richard, what about the risk that there isn't contagion directly linked to the situation in Turkey, but this idea that investors are just waking up to the fact of this is also happening at a time where liquidity concerns are out there. If you look at what's happening at the Federal Reserve, it's also coming at a time where the slowdown in China seems to be even slower than some expected based on that data point yesterday. That, too, is going to have big repercussions for EM Asia. I think that's right, but I think it's not necessarily a Turkey issue. It's not necessarily a China issue. The key issue is the US dollar is extremely strong. Right. And most of these markets have large amounts of foreign currency debt. Of course, in the case of China, it has large amounts of foreign currency assets. Uh, and that debt is becoming more and more expensive all the time. So in a sense, it's going to be a bit of a race between can these, company, can these countries, and indeed the companies, because in Turkey it's mainly corporate debt, can they continue to service very expensive debt uh, that's denominated in dollars uh, to a point at which they can do that until the, the fever passes? Uh, or will they actually start falling over? I think in Turkey's case, there are definitely going to be some major issues in terms of debt, and uh, foreign banks are going to have to start looking at mm. uh, renegotiating that. Um, elsewhere, I suspect at the moment, it's a fever, and the US dollar will probably end up going over the top um, as a lot of the positive factors for the dollar work their way through. Yeah, and it's interesting. We were just discussing this issue with Sri about the Bank of Indonesia decision coming up. You talk about Turkey. I mean, the assumption there is that they won't raise interest rates. But if dollar strength continues, as many do expect, do you think other central banks, including those here in Southeast Asia, will start to look at more of a tightening bias? Well, I think it, it's a little bit like uh, how water erodes a stone. It goes for the weakest points. And as Sri pointed out, you know, places like Indonesia uh, and India have uh, expanded their deficits. Um, and as a result, the markets are starting to pick out the, the areas of weakness. Now, the strong dollar is obviously going to have an impact on most emerging markets because a lot of their currency is denominated in debt. But some emerging markets are in worse shape than others. And the market is going to try and find weaknesses in these places uh, because that's how markets work. Um, uh, again, as I said, I, I think that the odds are that this is probably a dollar fever at the moment uh, and that the fever will subside for most of those other markets. Uh, for Turkey, I think it's probably gone beyond the uh, point of no return and there will be uh, some bankruptcies. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.